Welcome to the Leeds Direct Payment and PA Support presentation. This session will provide you with information regarding our services and how we can support you moving forward. The Leeds DP and PA Support is a dedicated team of people employed by Leeds City Council who support disabled and older people and families with disabled children that are in receipt of direct payment and NHS continuing healthcare funding. We also support individuals who wish to self-fund their own care. We support employers of personal assistance to help them meet their employment responsibilities, recruit and manage PAs to help them find the best person and get the best from them, access training and development opportunities for themselves and their PAs. When you employ a personal assistant, this means you become an employer. Our employer essentials briefings are designed to improve your confidence and empower you to be an effective employer. We will help you think about the responsibilities and legal obligations you will have as an employer and the support available to help meet these responsibilities and guide you through advertising, contracts and payroll, along with other key employment areas. Benefits of employing a personal assistant. Employing a personal assistant can help you live independently. It ensures that you are able to have control over how and when your support is provided to suit the needs and lifestyle of you and your family. One of the main benefits of employing a personal assistant is that you can choose who you employ and the days they work. You need to ensure that you have the correct policies and procedures in place and that employment law is followed. Employers and public liability insurance. If you are an employer, for example, if you employ a person assistant, you are required by law to have certain insurance cover in place. Get yourself protective and make sure you take out employers and public liability insurance before you even begin advertising for a PA. Why do I need to have insurance? If your employee is injured whilst working for you and you are held legally liable, you will be protected to cover legal costs and compensation. It also covers you for claims for compensation if you or your employee causes injury or damage to someone else or their property. In our experience, if there is good communication between an employer and their PA, there are very few problems that cannot be amicably resolved. However, if things do go wrong, your insurance company will provide you with legal advice and advise you on what to do. Leeds DP and PA Support Hub can give you more details and also support in the first instance. How do I arrange my insurance? You can contact them directly to arrange cover or a member of the DP and PA Support Hub team can support you with this. Below are listed some details for insurance companies. You're welcome to have a look at those in your own time and your advisor can certainly support you with that. How do I pay for the insurance? Funds to cover the cost of the insurance are included in your direct payment and you receive this amount annually, so you are covered. Recruiting a PA and where to advertise. You may already know who you would like to be your PA. However, if not, then the Leeds DP and PA support hub can help you find someone. We can help you access a number of sites, including a PA register, and no places to advertise, including university job sites. It is best to make an advert clear and personable as possible. What to include in an advert? The hours, type of work, and the main duties. Days and times which you need your PA to work, and the main duties, for example, personal care, going out to socialise, meal preparation, and light domestic tasks in the home. The rate of pay. You will need to pay at least the minimum wage. We will be able to provide you with information regarding standard hourly rates. The general location. So applicants will have an idea of the location they will be working at and to make sure they're able to get to you. Experience and other qualifications. Things to consider are if you would like someone who has a particular work experience or skill set to meet your needs. Also to think about whether it's important if your PA is a man or woman. If you need help with intimate personal care, you may want someone from the same gender. You need to be careful here because of the Equalities Act. The Act bans unfair treatment and helps achieve equal opportunities. Again, your advisor can assist you with this process. Disclosure and barring service. A DBS check is a way for employers to check a personal's criminal record to help decide whether they are a suitable person to work for them. We strongly recommend that all peers have a DBS check. If your peer will be caring for your children or working on supervising the house when there are children, then a DBS check is essential. It is important that you are clear in the advert that a DBS check is needed. Other things to consider are specific requirements, whether the peer needs to be a car driver or if they need to drive a manual or automatic car. 
There are lots of different places to advertise. Service users receive £100 a year to use to advertise on a site of their choice. One of these platforms is UKCIL. It's a secure, easy access recruitment tool in health and social care. Benefits include unlimited advertising, access to peers in your area and an auto-matching tool to help you find the right person. The job description and personal specification. You need to provide a job description so people will know if the role is right for them. A job description mainly includes a list of tasks you would like your peer to do. A personal specification is a list of skills, experience, personal qualities you would like your peer to have. If you have a support plan, you may have specific requirements that you need to think about when writing the personal specification. You can find a job description and a specification template on the Skills for Care site, or your advisor can email these over to you. Choosing who to interview. One way to decide who to interview could be to use a job description and personal specification to rate the applications. You must also make sure your selection criteria is fair and that you do not discriminate against anyone on the grounds of personal protected characteristics. For example, age, race, gender or sexual orientation. The Leeds DP and PA spot can advise you on how to keep safe during the recruitment process. Shortlisting, narrowing down all the applicants you've received to a shortlist. The selection criteria, a list of essential and desirable skills, attributes and work experience required for applicants. Candidates are the people you choose to interview. Once you have made your decision, you can contact the candidates which best fit the support you need and ask them to attend an interview. We will be able to provide you with suggested interview questions or you can create your own. Where to interview? We recommend conducting remote interviews to shortlist candidates in the first instance, for example by telephone or video calls. We recommend that any subsequent subsequent face-to-face -face interviews are conducted in a neutral venue. Location examples include your local library, a social care centre, a community centre or favourite coffee shop. Leeds DP and PA Spot can help you book a room in many of the Leeds City Council buildings across the city. Meet in a public location where you feel safe and your well-being is not at risk. Remember you are meeting this person for the first time, so it's best to be somewhere where other people are likely to be too. Job offer and employment checks. Once you've decided who you want to employ, contact them and offer them the job. Tell them that this is a provisional offer and that you will first need to carry out some checks. References are a good way of verifying that the information people have told you is correct. It is good to have the opinion of someone who knows the person you have chosen and knows about their job skills. You can ask for references by telephone or writing and we can provide you with a template when requesting these. DBS checks. Leeds DPMP is support will arrange these on your behalf. If a child is involved, then a DBS check must be completed prior to the PA starting work. Check their legal right to work in the UK. You will need to check and keep copies of certain documents before your personal assistant starts. Payroll and paying your PA. As an employer, you are responsible for making sure that your PA is paid correctly. Leeds CLI Commission in Leeds provide a payroll service for people using direct payments. A member of the payroll team will be in contact just after your PA starts work. Leeds CIL Payroll Service will calculate your PA's wages based on the hours worked and the information you provide. PAs are paid on the 20th of every calendar month they have worked and they're always paid a month in arrears. By arrears, I mean the hours worked in the month of July are paid on the 20th of August into the PA's bank account through the payroll system. Your PA will also accrue holiday entitlement Payroll will calculate this for you and it's important that your PA takes and uses the holiday entitlement to ensure that they also get a break from work. Payroll will also ensure that your PA's tax and national insurance contributions are deducted correctly and they will also ensure that the paperwork and tax office information is up to date. Contracts of employment. As an employer, you have responsibilities and rights and so does your PA. The terms of your employment are covered in a contract of employment. Listed below are the type of things to include. The basic information like your name and the name of your PA. Job title and your PA's main duties. 
hours of work and place of work, for example, your home address, start date and probation period, training and induction, salary, pay dates and pension agreements, sick leave, lateness and notice periods, holiday entitlement and what happens when you're away, and also confidentiality, security, disciplinary, grievance and dismissal. Leeds DP and PA Support will let you know where you can access a contract template. Contract of employment must be issued on and before the PA's first day of work. PA training and induction. Good training and induction will make your PA feel valued and more confident in their job. This means you will get better support and your PA is more likely to stay with you for a long time. A wide variety of training is available through Leeds to Council that is free for both yourself and your PA. Training is available mainly in the form of e-learning. Further information can be found on the link on the screen. You can also email the team directly. For your PA's first day, make a list of things you need to tell them about the job and how best to carry out these tasks to suit you. The probationary period. Each time you employ a new PA, we recommend that you tell them that there will be an initial probationary period of employment. Normally anywhere up to 12 weeks, however, this can be extended to longer if required. This can be an ideal time to see if they enjoy working with you and if you're happy with the work that they are providing. During the probation period, if either you or the PA decide to end the employment, you wouldn't need to give a reason and you would only need to give one week's notice. However, we do advise you to speak to insurance if this does occur. This is especially useful in difficult circumstances between you and your PA, but after this time you need to be extremely careful as valid reasons would be needed. Regular performance reviews. It's a good idea for both you and your PA to meet formally at set time to talk about the job. This can be once a month and then after the probationary period, it can be every three to six or 12 months. A performance review or supervision is a two way discussion between an employer and their PA. And the benefits of this, it helps assess if your PA is doing their job in the way that you want gives you the chance to give constructive feedback and to praise your peer for their good work. It also gives time to address any problems early and to find solutions. For example, offering training and finding different ways to work. The day-to-day -day management and things to think about. Give your peer the support and development that they need. Imagine yourself in their position and if this was their first job. Make sure that they don't have to choose between home and work and importantly, have clear boundaries and good communication. If your PAs are happy in their job role and barely treated, they are more likely to stay with you long term.